Well, hey y'all, Benji here with BC TV. Today I'm going to be reviewing this backpack from Granite Gear. This is the Crown 360 Ultralight Backpack and it is fantastic and I'm going to tell you why. Let's get right into this video. All right, first off you're going to see this backpack has all kinds of features on it. I'm going to spin it around so you can just get a quick overview of this backpack. Then we're going to go into each section a little more detailed and show you everything that I like about it. So this backpack weighs 2.4 pounds, that's including the internal frame. Now you can take the internal frame out and it weighs only 2 pounds. Now if you use this backpack at 2 pounds, they suggest you don't carry a load over 25 pounds. Now if you use the backpack at 2.4 pounds with the internal frame in here, they suggest you go uh, no higher than 35 pounds. Now they do have an additional uh, piece of aluminum that you can put into the frame that's sold separately. And you can go up to 43 pounds with this backpack. All right, so let's get into the features of this backpack. We're going to start up top, right at the hood. So right here, we have the lid of the backpack. You'll see it has loops, four loops on it. And it's uh, attached with four uh, buckles here. And there is a very large pocket up here, which opens up. See, I have stuff inside. Take this all out. And on the inside here, there is one giant pocket on top. And also, this is new for the version three. They didn't have this in version two. They put some mesh liner in here and they made two additional pockets, which is awesome. So you have three different sections on this uh, lid up here, which is really cool. And now this lid also comes off and you can attach it to your uh, the belt down here to be a like a fanny pack or a lumbar pack, they call it. So if you ever wanna drop your pack and go summit a mountain or something, you can, which is awesome. And next, we're gonna see uh, the front of the backpack here, or I guess the back of the backpack that goes on your back. You're gonna see right here, you have a carrying handle. Right here, this is a port for your, uh, if you want a bladder inside your backpack, you can come out either side, either right or left, and it feeds right into there by the frame. There's your straps here, and there's plenty of cushion on here. Um, they don't dig into your shoulders or anything. Very nice, well made. Um, something you don't see on hardly any backpacks that I've ever seen is water bottle holders. Now these are uh, compression straps right here, or uh, shock straps they call them. Um, you just open them up, you can stick a water bottle lid through here, and then the bottom one down here holds the body of the water bottle nice and tight. And they give you one for each shoulder which is awesome. That's uh, something they didn't have to do, but they threw that in there. I think that's really cool because I love having a water bottle right there on my chest so I don't have to reach behind my back or reach behind me to my back and you know break my arm and try and get some water or have to take off your pack just to get water. So this is really cool. Good feature that they didn't have to include that they did. Now something different about this backpack you're gonna see on the straps right here, they have two chest straps, which I've never seen before. So one here, and one here. I'm not sure I love it or not. Uh, I'm used to just having one, but they give you two. And it's not a big deal if you don't like it because they are fully removable. And you can change them, you can lower them, you can raise them, or you can just take them off if you don't like them. So cool, I'm not complaining, they give you two. Um, I'm used to only having one, but uh, that's awesome. So again, this lid up here can actually come off and be a chest pack if you like a chest pack. I know a lot of people do. So they give you that option too. So you can remove it from the top and wear it on your chest for easy access to some of your gear or snacks or something. So moving down, we have uh, more of your support straps here, here, down here. Let's get down to the belt here, the waist belt. What you're gonna see is you're gonna see two pockets on your waist belt, that's pretty common. Uh, They're large enough to hold your phone. I have a iPhone XR. You know, you know, the big size phone, and it easily fits in these pockets with some snacks. So that's awesome. Uh, next, you're gonna see a feature with this backpack I've never seen anywhere else, and I really like it. This is the refit adjustable hip belt. And I'm gonna show you how it works. So it just slides out easy. It attaches with Velcro in there to hold it tight. And then you can choose the size of your waist to get this hip belt to fit you perfectly. 
Um, so it goes anywhere from 26 inches to 42 inches. So you can be, you know, chubby or skinny. Me, I'm sitting right at a 32, so that's what I'm going to keep it at. And then you just slide it back through there. Very simple to do and to adjust. And it makes it feel really nice on your hips. I really like it. And again, that lid, I'll show you guys in a minute, but the lid can attach right here. Let's keep looking at the pack first. So next, you're going to see, let's go to the back, I guess. Right here on the back, we have this huge, huge, flexible mesh pocket, which I love. You can stuff all kinds of stuff in here. It just stretches and stretches. Look at that. So you can put all kinds of gear in there if you wanted to, um, which is really awesome because maybe sometimes you'll have a jacket or something. You just stuff it in there when you get hot. Really cool. I really like this. And then you have uh, compression straps here to tighten down all your gear. So tighten, tighten, get everything nice and tight. I really like that. The back of the backpack is awesome. This is uh, like hologram, whatever you call this. You shine on it and it uh, reflects at night. So that's cool so you can find people. Down here, you're gonna see extra loops. So if you wanna feed some uh, compression cord or something down here, hold additional gear. Um, you can put your trekking poles through here. Really awesome, I really like it. Let's look over here. This is probably one of my favorite features of the entire backpack. It's gonna be these two huge side pockets. Look at these things, these are ginormous. And they have compression straps here. Open it up, put one here. One thing I like about these straps down here, I can undo, and you can feed them through. There's a little pocket here. You can feed them through the inside if you don't want these straps on the outside squeezing your water bottle or something. This is just an additional feature they gave you, which is really cool. Now I'm gonna show you the actual size. You might not be able to tell in the video too well, so I'm going to show you how big these side pockets actually are. This is a one and a half liter smart water bottle. Let's put it down in here. Let's see if we can put two of them in here. Another one and a half liter smart water bottle. Look at that. No trouble at all. Now if you want to hold three liters on each side of your pack, you can. Which you might be saying you're crazy, why would you want to do that? Now, I live in Texas. And in the summertime, it doesn't rain, so it's hard to get water. So if you're out on a very long trail, you have to carry all your water with you. So you might want to carry three liters of water in your pack. It's not abnormal down here in Texas. So great feature granite gear. I really like these side pockets. That is awesome. And they're nice and deep. You saw it nearly swallowed that whole one and a half liter water bottle. Very cool. And there's one on each side. I love it. Again, this one also has the strap you can feed through, um, which is cool. So let's look at the inside of the pack. All right, so for the inside of the pack, we're gonna take off the lid. Just had four clips on there, really easy to do. Ah, okay, I didn't show you guys this. Here's a strap up top here. And this is where I keep my sleeping pad is um, when I have the lid on, I just go over the lid, snap it there, and you have your sleeping pad in here, and you cinch it tight. That's where I like to keep my sleeping pad. And they give you the strap for it, which is really cool. So this has a roll top and a uh, clip here to keep it shut. This keeps it nice and dry in here. Now it's not totally waterproof. You'll want to get a uh, cover a rainproof cover for your bag, which didn't come with it. I already have one, um, but it'll still mostly keep it dry. This is cool. And this thing is huge in here. I have it filled up with blankets right now. And let's just see how deep this thing goes. And then a sleeping bag. So I had four blankets and a sleeping bag. And just, I mean, look at this. This thing is humongous. Again, it's a 60 liter pack, so you see this thing is just ginormous. I don't know if you guys can tell in there, but it's taking my whole arm in there. It's just awesome. So it's just one giant open bag that's humongous. 
And then inside here, you're gonna see, this is where the frame is kept in here. This is their frame. You can see there's a little space here. This is where the aluminum bar that you can get for the frame goes, which costs like $16, I think, if you wanna go up to 43 pounds. Just up to you, uh, you can do it. Um, I guess you could also fit your uh, bladder in here for your water if you wanted to, but they also give you this little dongle thing here that I think is for holding your uh, water bladder. I don't use a water bladder, so I don't really know much about them, but I'm guessing that's what this is for. So the inside is awesome. I really like it. It's just huge. There's no extra pockets or anything besides that that held the uh, frame. It's just a huge open space. And that's what you'll typically find on these ultralight backpacks. It's just a huge bag, which is cool. We're trying to be minimalist, and that's what this is. All right, let's show you how this uh, belt works with the uh, lid on here. So we have the lid of the pack. Here's your belt for the pack that I took off earlier. You just put it over the back, and then it clips to itself here and here and then you have here's your zipper here and put it on like so very easy really like it let's show you these uh pockets real quick for the belt uh, not really much to see just a pocket and put stuff in here all right, let me show you how easy it is to put this. Uh, once you size your belt to your correct size, I get out of mine at 32. I'm gonna feed it back through the bottom here. I'm gonna show you how easy this is. It's not hard at all. So you just I reach my hand through, and I catch the buckle, and then I pull it through. Right there. And it, I mean, it stops where it's supposed to go. So, I mean, it's that simple. Very easy to do. All right, I got it filled back up. I'll show you how to close this top. You just, uh, it's a roll top, which you might be familiar with, but if not, super easy to use. You just roll it. Roll, roll, roll. And then, you fold it over, and you clip it. That's it. And then, you don't have to put the hood back on. And just be ready to go. Save you a little weight. I think the hood is four ounces. Um, so if you want to save four ounces, you don't have to have the hood or the lid. I'm sorry. Um, but if you do want the lid, it's super easy to put back on. Let's see. Just have these clips. Clip. Clip. And clip, clip. Now, I don't think I showed you yet. Let me show you this. The lid, I think I talked about it, but I didn't show you. The lid can actually hook on and be a chest, a chest bag. Some people like those. I've never used one, but they give you the option for it. And here's, here's how it would look. It would go right here on the front. So there's clips made especially for that. So pretty cool. All right, let's talk about the stats. It has a vapor current Mark III frame with a 35 pound load rating, dual density shoulder harness with load lifter straps and dual removable sternum straps, refit fully adjustable dual density hip belt from 26 to 42 inches and from 24 to 40 inches in the women's fit, dual large hip belt pockets with DWR treated zippers, roll top main compartment opening with top compression strap, hydration port and internal hydration sleeve, side and front compression straps, Robic high tenacity nylon 100D and 210D with barrier DWR, removable lid has a compartment with DWR treated zipper with mesh divider pocket on interior, lid converts to a lumbar pack with hip belt removed, lid converts to a chest pack for weight distribution and quick access, large side fabric pockets with cinch closure, stretch mesh front pocket with wider top opening, 3M reflective logo for visibility, 
bottom gear loops for cord customization, pair of elastic bottle holders on both shoulder straps, undyed color uses 98% undyed fabrics and materials, reducing water waste by 55% during manufacturing. All right, this comes in three different sizes. It comes in short, regular, and long. All right, guys, that is it for this review video today. This was the Crown 360 by Granite Gear. I'm gonna leave a link to this product down in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like, comment in the uh, comments down there, and let me know if you liked it, or if you have a question about this bag, and I will try to answer them as quick as I can. You guys are awesome. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me along for more great hiking videos, gear review videos, and fun shorts. I'll well, see you next time.